tell you about the technology that will drive the next decade of innovation. Artificial intelligence, self-driving cars, predictive medicine, automated financial planning, all of these technologies are near. And one of the key technologies driving our AI future is natural language processing. The ability of a computer system to understand human language and respond using the most intuitive form of human communication, speech. Natural language processing will change the way that we interact for, with technology. From call centers to restaurants to elder care, the ability of computer systems to understand human speech and respond naturally will fundamentally change the technology landscape. And there's an entire community of developers out there that are looking to access this technology. But so far, it's been the purview of a few large companies. Apple's Siri, Microsoft Cortana, Amazon Alexa. The technology is walled off proprietary and secretive. Not anymore. Meet Mycroft, the world's first open source artificial intelligence platform. Mycroft is truly an AI for everyone. A Mycroft user can speak to her technology naturally and receive a natural response. We started the project by building a wireless speaker with a high quality microphone. Uh, the speaker is intended to be a platform, a foundation from which our technology team can innovate. To make it relatable and set a positive tone, we based it on WALL-E and EVA and ET and Big Hero 6. We also wanted to encourage our community to hack, explore, and extend the technology. And so we based it on Raspberry Pi and Arduino, two very popular prototyping technologies. But Mycroft AI Inc. is not a device maker. In fact, we've open sourced our hardware schematics and we're encouraging other companies to adopt our technology. Mycroft is a software platform that allows developers to add natural language processing to anything. And that's why our opportunity is huge. It's open. And so developers can add it to anything from a microwave to an automobile. A Mycroft enabled car would allow you to ask what's the tire pressure in the front right tire and receive a natural response, 42 PSI. It'll run on all major operating systems, which means that Mycroft will be available for nearly all of the 34 billion devices that will be connected to the Internet of Things by 2020. As the first open source AI platform, we are the leader in this space. And since open source software underpins everything from fitness trackers to mobile devices, we're positioned to be the natural language processing platform of choice globally. Our advantage is that any developer can download and install Mycroft free of charge. This broadens the mouth of our sales funnel and it reduces risk for our paying customers. They know that they'll always have access to paid support and software as a service. And because Mycroft is here to help, uh, they'll be able to do that 24 hours a day. Of course, supporting these customers is going to take a great team and that's where we shine. We've got an engineering manager with more than 20 years of experience leading teams, machine learning expertise, corporate leadership with both military and entrepreneurial experience and more than 700 developers in our open source community making contributions every single day. And that's why we've got so much traction. In the fall of 2015, we went to Kickstarter and raised $190,000. Our success brought with it talented developers like Sean Fitzgerald. Sean was the first technical hire at Siri and the second engineer on the Amazon Echo project. We were invited to join Techstars in 2016, and we began shipping developer kits in April of last year. We've entered into talks with blue chip companies like General Motors, Walmart, and GE. And in May, we reached an agreement with Canonical LTD to put Mycroft on more than 40 million devices globally. We closed an angel round in September of last year for $350,000, and we're a Tech Week KC winner uh, for a $50,000 grant. In January, we accepted a strategic investment from Jaguar Land Rover, and we were the first Kansas company to be invited to join the prestigious 500 Startups program. And today, I'm happy to announce here for the first time in Kansas City to a very excited crowd that uh, we've oversubscribed our seed round, uh, and inclu which includes investments from Deep Space Ventures, Greenbrice VC, and the Crowdfunder VC Index Fund. We're now positioned to be a world leader in this important technology category. Using Mycroft technology, innovators and creators in the field of artificial intelligence will be able to make products that communicate naturally in the same way that I, I'm speaking to you. Among these products will be a handful that create value above and beyond what exists today, so much so that not only will people be willing to pay for them, they will change the way we use technology in profound ways. 
Many of you work in the field of healthcare, telecommunications, and finance. Ask yourself, if your technology could understand human speech and respond naturally, what would you build? Thank you. So very, very impressive. Um, and I think going open source is, is very smart. But what happens if Google or Amazon decide to do the exact same thing? How do you compete? What would be your competitive advantage? Sure. So Amazon's mission statement is to be the world's most consumer-centric company where people can discover and purchase anything online. It doesn't matter if you sell books or cars or space launch services. You compete with Amazon. At Mycroft, we provide an open alternative that's independent of the Silicon Valley giants. And what we found is that there's a multi-billion dollar market that consists of companies like Walmart and Target and GE that don't want to do business with Amazon. And that's our market. So there's an old saying that if everyone is your customer, then no one is your customer. You're open source. How do you dive into your actual customer? Sure. So our original vertical, let's say land and expand, right? So our original landing place is an automotive. Does anybody here have voice control in their car? Anybody? Show of hands. Does anybody in here like the voice control in their car? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for, in J.D. Powers and Associates, it's reported that the voice control in the car is the single most complained about feature in the automobile. We solve that problem. And so that's how we land with companies like Jaguar, who's a strategic investor and soon will be a customer and General Motors, uh, who we're working with through 500 startups. Got it. So it seems like part of your strategy is to go after large companies and OEMs. <clears throat> is that what some of the seed round is going towards, is on the sales side? Or where are you putting that money best to use? Sure. So the seed money that we've obtained allows us to position ourselves as the open technology in this space. And so for the next year, our goal is to become the default open assistant uh, globally uh, for anybody who's using open source. So when you think open source and relational database, you think MySQL. That was a billion dollar exit to Sun Microsystems. When you think open source and content management systems, you think WordPress. They just raised money on a $1.4 billion valuation. And when you think open source and mobile, you think Android that's deployed on 1.6 billion devices and is a substantial revenue driver for Google. Our goal with our seed round is that when you think open and <coughs> virtual assistant, you will think Mycroft, and that's a billion dollar opportunity. Okay. Thanks, folks. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the cheers. More cheers. We got somebody coming up.